In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to download and install Hyper to work with VCD. So the first step is simple. Just open your browser, Google for Hyper, H-Y-P-R-E. Uh, mostly your first or second uh, link will be uh, this one, Hyper, Scalable Linear Solvers, and multi -grid. So click on that. And you will end up on this web page for Hyper. It's a software developed by the Lawrence Livermore, Livermore National Laboratory. Uh, they create software which is uh, uh, used for high performance computing. So on this page, you can download the software. So there it is. It says Hyper, that's the link. Just click on Hyper and you get the download. So here it is. My file is being downloaded right now and complete so once that is complete you can look at your downloads folder yeah so i have hyper 2.11.2.tar now what i need to do is to copy that file into my uh, ubuntu uh, folder to keep everything together, I, I will just create uh, a folder called libraries. So mkdir, in case I download something and I need to install this, just to keep it clean so that there's not a clutter of uh, files and folders in my home. Folder. So I go to libraries. And now I will copy Hyper from my Windows downloads folder. This is my username. Downloads and I have hyper 2.11.2 tar dot bed. Right, okay. And I copy it right here. So dot slash means here. So it's copied here. LS, there you go. Now this is an archive. To unzip or open that archive, I do tar minus xvf. So it opens this. Now you see that I have a folder. So I go CD, hyper, press tab. Always press tab to complete it. It's faster. So CD, I, I type HY and press tab. I get that folder. You see that with LS, I can see that there's a folder called SRC. So I say CD, SRC. There I have a folder which has a configure in green. So, so I do configure. So dot slash config. Here. Minus minus prefix equals slash usr slash local slash hyper. Um, I want to install hyper at that location slash usr slash local slash hyper. So I'm configuring hyper such that it is set up to uh, install at that location. As this uh, uh, printout starts at the beginning, you would see it makes some checks. Just make sure that MPICC is found, MPIC capital C capital C is found, and MPI F77 or MPI Fort, one of them is found. So yes, everything is okay. So you're ready for the installation. So once uh, that is done, you can simply uh, type make all. This could take some time. Okay, so took some time, but it's completed now. So when it's finished, you will see something like this. If you have any errors or so on, then something has gone wrong. So you need to go back and fix it. Most of the time it's because Fortran is not installed or GCC is not installed or so on. But if you get something like this, then your make is complete, make all. That was the command that was used, that's complete. So now we type sudo make install, which is the last step. It will ask you for the password since you use sudo. That was very quick, and then it, so you see uh, sudo make install. Once you in, uh, put in your password, enter your password. It's very easy, and then it ends with installing hyper mkdir minus p user local hyperlib user local hyper include.